Homegrown episode 1, scene 1, take 1. Hello, uh, I am Dominic Iadi Kabati. Uh, I work at the Ateneo de Zambanga University. My passion is art and painting and drawing. Everything about art, that's my passion. Everything that's beautiful. For me, art is like my way of dealing with really heavy stuff. Like for example, when my mom died, um, I really went to art to express what I felt because I couldn't like express it like outwardly. I don't even remember crying when she died. So parang like translate she more into what I drew that time. Like usually it was dead stuff, dead things, dead butterflies and all that stuff. It's like me trying to make sense of the loss and I tried to express that using artworks and by expressing it through drawing and putting it on paper. Art for me is, I think it has become kind of like my identity because if there's a Dominic Ian Kabati who doesn't know how to draw or do any sort of art stuff, I don't think that's him anymore. It has become really ingrained into me. Parang Kapag wala akong ganun, I won't be Dominica Batit that people know of. Art kasi, it, it makes me look at the world differently. If I don't look at the things around me through the eyes of art, parang it becomes mundane. It's my way of seeing beauty in things. Kasi without art, parang everything becomes, you know, ordinary, stale, and black and white. But if you have the, the eyes of an artist, parang, you know, parang everything becomes pretty. Uh, a sunset becomes awesome. Rain becomes like really, you know, impactful for you. It's something prettier than, you know, just looking at it from ordinary eyes, from blank eyes. If you look at it through eyes that have been trained in art, parang, wow, everything becomes beautiful. The world becomes beautiful with art. Uh, there's quite a lot. Oh wait, I have one that's really good. Um, okay lang, kunin ko dun. I'm really sorry to keep you waiting. I'm back. So um, I filled this up after one of my um, big breakups, <laughs> big heartaches. So ito yung parang naging, naging bunga ng, ano, ng pain na yun. It sounds really corny, but you know. <laughs> yeah. oh, wait lang ha, sana akong muna. Sana dito. Oh. Ah, here, here, here. here. It's actually this piece. <laughs> um, this is special for me because ito yung nag, ano, this really captured what I felt when I had that really big breakup. Um, it shows me throwing up and vomiting flowers. The meaning of this is that pinatry ko i get rid yung feeling of naivity ba. This is like disillusionment of love. Parang like disillusion ako sa love. And like, I don't want to infect myself anymore with the concept of, you know, butterflies and rainbows. Kasi in reality, hindi naman siya ganun. Um, if I imagine a parallel universe where I am like someone who doesn't know how to draw or do art, I'd probably go in the literary route because I kind of like reading also. I like writing to some extent. So I think he'll be, I think he'll be a, a writer, I guess. Um, he'll be someone who, I guess, teaches, I think. He's probably going to be in filmmaking also, make um, scripts, um, do set designs and all that stuff. So like, yeah, it's a completely alternate, an alternate world, Dominic. <laughs> would be uh, an unfamiliar one. It's a different Dominic. I never thought about, you know, um, selling it as a business, like being lucrative by using my artworks, using my skills. The primary reason is that I'm not very confident with um, satisfying the customer. Para mahirap kasi i-ano eh, i-tansya yung ano talaga yung gusto ng customer. So parang, I'm hesitant to enter that kind of agreement kasi baka I would, ano, I would disappoint the taste of the client. 
it's nice that I know sometimes I earn a bit when I'm doing drawings when I'm making commissions for other people but most of the time I kind of make art for myself and you know parang bonus lang talaga yung sometimes na some people would ask me to draw stuff and then I get paid so yeah um, I would rather parang have this as more of my therapy activity <laughs> parang I'm doing this more more for myself and the extra income is you know just like a bonus you know what to the guys out there to the people who are interested in art especially the young people I think the only words that I can really give to you is to just continue what you're doing even if nobody is really supporting you. Don't wait on other people. Because this is a personal journey. Eh. People will be either supporting you or not. But if it's really your passion, if it's something that you really love, we have to stick to that thing that you love. Hi, I'm Dominique Ian E. Kabatit. I'm a homegrown Zambongenyo artist.